Hi there, this is Ryan Tyler, and for my analog experiment, I wanted to represent the Soufriere type pyroclastic flow. A pyroclastic flow, also known as a pyroclastic density current, PDC, occurs when a buildup of material and gases creates pressure within the dome of an active volcano. This pressure breaks the dome and is shot upwards rapidly. This column of materials and gas are briefly contained in the air, but as it completely depressurizes, it collapses and flows down the sides of the volcano. These volcanoes are typically viscous and granitic in nature. The Soufriere type flow tends to be formed in cooler situations than most other pyroclastic density currents. For this experiment, I am trapping dry ice that is melting into carbon dioxide with dish soap in different bowls. My hypothesis is that changing the size of the volcano's opening affects the rate of the Soufriere pyroclastic flow. I used three bowls with different diameters, the small bowl being 6.75 inches in diameter, the medium bowl being 8.75 inches in diameter, and the large bowl being 13.75 inches in diameter. I also used a cloth that is soaked in watery dish soap detergent to form a dome bubble barrier over the dry ice. The first bowl I used was the small bowl. It took approximately 53 seconds before the pressure popped the dome. Calculating the volume of this dome and the time it took, the flow rate was 3.03 liters per second. Next, for the medium bowl, it took approximately 93 seconds before the dome collapsed. Completing the same calculations, I found that the flow rate to be 3.77 liters per second. Lastly, for the large bowl, it took approximately 127 seconds before the dome pressurized and collapsed. Using the previous calculations, the flow rate came out to be 10.72 liters per second. From this experiment, I conclude that the size of the volcano's opening does indeed affect the rate of the Soufriere pyroclastic flow. The larger the dome is, the slower the flow rate. I can also imagine that it would be much more catastrophic if the dome was larger due to the amount of volume that can be held and pressurized before collapsing. Thank you all for watching my analog experiment for Geology A320 Volcanology, and I hope you learned a lot about the Soufriere Pyroclastic Flow.